All praise, honor, and glory is unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and elders at Great Millstone that rule well and that teach well. And salutations unto the elect. <coughs> Alright, this um this lesson that I'm coming coming with today is gonna be um I title it Being a Be a Brother Even When Nobody's Watching. Okay. Um the reason why I do that is because I mean the reason why I title title it that is you know, because we have to not only be true uh, fellowshippers of Yahweh Hashem Shai amongst each other, but even when we go home, you know, we we're, we're uh, by ourselves, and when we go to work, you know, in our daily lives, we have to continue to be. Really, it's about being uh, faithful to Yahweh Hashem Shai when nobody's watching. Okay, <coughs> and you know, we went over last week when we were on the highways and the byways. The scripture uh, came out. That um, that we're not supposed to do this as I service pleasing men. We got we're doing this for Yahweh Bashim Shai, you know, because the, these the men you know that we fellowship with and that we go to battle with, you know, we love you know we love each other dearly in Yahweh Bashim Shai, but we cannot we can't save each other, you know what I mean? We can exhort each other, we can rebuke each other, you know, for the betterment of our souls, but we cannot say we can't give each other salvation. That's one thing that man can't grant us. The only one that's capable of granting us that is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So it's about being faithful unto him, even when nobody's looking, okay? Or in front of, you no, know, when you're in front of strangers. Because, um, matter of fact, I'm going to, because I was going to grab James, <coughs> which I'm still going to grab James, the first chapter in the 22nd verse, okay? But, um, just because I said, it's a lot here. Just because I said um, we have to be a man of the Lord in front of strangers as well, okay? I want to put a scripture and I'm going to let the sp uh, scripture speak. And this is um, Ecclesiastes chapter, uh, let's see, chapter 8 and verse eight, uh, 18. It's like it. it says, do no secret thing before a stranger. For thou knowest not what he will bring forth. Okay, now I say that to say, you know, when we're at the camps, you know, you like you're a man of the Lord, you, you know, you're bringing out precepts, you know, you, you're rebuking people, you calling on the name of Yahweh Shai, you, you're, you're um, exhorting the people, you're warning the people, you're cutting the people, telling them not to do this and not do that. <clears throat> at the same time, you're going off and before people that you know in front of strangers and you're doing wickedness those would be those would be the one that reveal if you're really being a brother man because really really how about shimmy out shot knows your heart anyway but for somebody if you do something in front of somebody and it's non-scriptural okay they can roll up on you on the highways and you know and they and expose you you know and they don't know what the hell's they don't know how you get down with the brotherhood. All they know is what they see. Okay? So we are supposed to be a walking example of the scriptures, man. The same way Yahweh Shai came and he, you know, um, it, it don't matter how, whenever you ran into Yahweh Shai, man, he was down, for, he was down, he was about his father's business, man. We are supposed to be about our father's business, no matter what. You know, throughout, throughout our daily lives at the camps, you know, when we just fellowshipping, even we, even when we with the acumen, we go out and, and um, and, and chill. You know, we're supposed to still carry ourselves as men of the Lord, All right? So, I'm gonna get this in James chapter one verse twenty two, which says, "But be ye doers of the word, uh, but be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves." Okay, because it's easy to say that you're a brother. It's easy to say that you're down for the Lord, that you love the brotherhood and you love, you know, and that you really love these scriptures. It's easy to say that. But if you're not doing it, you know, you're deceiving yourself, man. You're pretty much, you're playing yourself. Okay? And that's one thing you don't want to do. You don't want to be a, a <clears throat> slacker. You don't want to be just a person who reads and utter scriptures but not live them. You know, it's it says this, for if any be a hearer of the word 
and not a door, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass, where he beholdeth himself and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. Okay? Because we are supposed to be men of the Lord. Because when you when you just utter in scriptures and you're thinking you're somebody, you know, you and you you might even have rank, you know? You might even have some type of rank. But if you're not sincerely doing these things that the scriptures say and you just reiterating them, then you're gonna forget you for gonna lose yourself, man. Okay? You're gonna lose yourself. And that's what's that's what's happening to some guys, man. They don't want to actually follow the scriptures, and the Most High is booting them out. Through any, and He's booting them out through, you no, know, through men upon the earth. Okay, because we are to follow the righteous men of the earth because they lead the example in the scriptures, man. Not by how they carry on with their personal lives at home. You no, know, not by how good they can, you know, um, how good they, they, how good they are on the grill or on the stove. No, but. By how they carry themselves and, and you how by Shimei was shy. They're booting these men out because, hey, really it makes you a hypocrite. So, all oh, that, that leads me to my next scripture. It is, um, because you don't want to be found a hypocrite, man. That's one of the worst things going is to be found a hypocrite. <coughs> and this is, um, Matthew. Yep. Matthew 23. And. It's a good read, so I'm trying to find a good spot. Um, I'm going to start from 23. It says, Woe unto the scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you pay tithes of mint and uh, anise and cumin and have, uh, have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. And um, just to touch on that, you know, since I had to read it, you know, there's some guys they they get all butt hurt about you no know, certain you no know, certain laws that we have. Okay, there's certain laws that we cannot keep to our full abilities. Okay, so it's not you don't you don't sit and wallow like, oh man, uh, damn this had this had um red forty in it, you know, or damn she was on a period or you know what I'm saying like you, those things we can't keep every law period. I mean, every law um, perfect right now. And when I say the example that I gave about the period is because you might sit on a, a bus and a woman that was on her menstrual sat there and you will sit down, but you, you're not knowing that you're, you're un, that she's unclean, okay? Because when, you, when a woman has her menstrual, she's supposed to be put away for seven days and then seven days after that, okay? I believe it's seven days and uh, I'll get into that you know, later, but She's unclean, which is the law that we're not supposed to touch a woman that's unclean. All right, and this, you know, got you got certain guys worrying about, um, just worrying about petty stuff, man. We're we're worried about. It says um, the weightier matters are these prophecies. That's what we're supposed to be worried about. All right, making sure that we're keeping the faith in Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. That's what we're, what we're worried about. All right, we're not worried about. The nigga next door committing adultery. We're not worried about that. You know, the Most High is going to deal with them. We're, we're supposed to be pushing prophecy. We're supposed to be continuing in the faith, man. So, uh, reading on, it says, These ought, ye have to, these ought ye to have done and not to leave the other undone. Ye blind guides would strain at a net and swallow a camel. Woe unto the scribe, woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. For you may clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, but within they are full of extor uh, extortion and excess. You know, it says um, you, you may clean the outside of the cup and make uh, and of the platter. Okay, you, you, you're all good. You know, you, you look you look good in the Lord. You got your garments on, your phylacteries. You know, you got Dimitri on. All right. And, and, and you're teaching the word. You have by Shimei and Shai. That's your outward. You know what I'm saying? But... Your inward is is full of full of uh, filthiness, man. You know, full of exhortation, full of um, full of sin. You ain't that's that's those are the type of people that do not get rid of the um, the um, the old man. Okay, the inner inner man is the old man. 
when you don't get rid of that, then that's what that's why you look good as a man of the Lord outwardly, but inwardly you a goddamn nigga, man. That's exactly what that is. It says, "Thou blind Pharisee, clean first that which is uh, which is within the cup and platter, that the outside of them may be clean also." You know, and that's being wholehearted. You know, that's doing uh, doing a willy how about she may shy wholeheartedly, not half ass and not doing it your own way. You know, not wanting to hold on to your your old man, not wanting to be a be a nigger or niggard too. You know. You don't want to be that. It said he says first clean the ins uh, the inside man, and that way it show because you can tell a man who's really a man of the Lord just by the way he carries himself. You can tell that he's rehearsing the righteous acts. He's keeping the laws. He's keeping the commandments. He's going home and he's staying faithful. Once he had Bashim Al Shah, he's doing lessons. He's reading. He's studying. You know, and he's doing it sincerely. He's not just doing it, you know, uh, um, just just to get by. You know, he's doing it because. It's the right thing to do, and he loves to do it. All right, that's cleaning the inside, man. And that's what, we, that's what we're supposed to do, man. You know, we can be a hypocrite just like the scri those um, scribes and Pharisees that are speaking up here. It says, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye like unto uh, whited sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within uh, full of dead men's bones and of uncleanness. Even so, ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within you are full of hypocrisy and iniquity, which is what I said. You know, I jumped a gun, <coughs> but you are full of hypocrisy and iniquity because it's easy to say that you love the Lord, like I said. Easy to say the name, but what are you really about? What are you, like, you know, it's not about just going to the camp and, oh, y'all watching me shop at time, brothers. No, what are you really about, man? You know? That's what it's about. And the Most High is going to, he's definitely going to expose those type of men. You know, within GMS, you know, just within and within the house of Israel, period, man. He's going to do some sifting. That's why the Lord has to do sifting. All right? Um, I want to get some more scriptures. <coughs> um, but, hey, that, that pretty much covered the point that I was trying to make. You know? Like, what are you really about, man? Are you really about this truth or are you about yourself? So I say Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai. Dev honors unto the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone that rule well, and citations unto the, the true elect. Alright? The men that are really doing this work, that are really pushing sincerely and truthfully with all long suffering and with sound doctrine. That being said, say Shalom.